with Nosy Girls Just Five, and today we are continuing on the on the Wolf Among Us. We found out that the girl we met along, um, right by the um, the beginning of this beginning of the episode that she was in a fight with with the lumberjack or something like that. Um, she's dead now. We found her head in front of the front of the um, the, the entry. We found a lot of blood on the blood on the fences, blood on the ground, a fabric. So there's got to be a, some reason. So. Only in my head right now, I'm thinking it's the mayor, the lumberjack, or this, whatever, the same King Cole, whatever his name was. Oh. What, are you blind? What? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. What? The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. What? You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Uh, Sheriff, yeah. you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Well, your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Well, tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads, suspects, anything, anything at all, any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing? Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman. That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. Get him in here? You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Dying his dress. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Dang. Do your job, Sheriff. I... Or we'll find someone who can. I'm not gonna say anything to him. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Uh, I shouldn't have said. Well, that could have gone better. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. We should have. Oh, it's lagging. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Okay. Crane's what an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Well, so asshole scale? Asshole scale. Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> the asshole scale. Whoa. Is... Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Ooh, flying um, green monkey. Hey, we got the um. What Buffkin. Was Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking this <laughs> early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? I'm doing good. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. <laughs> you look so Buffkin, cute. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? Uh, the ones with all the fables in it. Yeah. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Okay. Bye, Flying Monkey. He knows the ones I'm talking about. <laughs> There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. 
We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. The mirror? <gasps> I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're oh. able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. Oh. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> woodsman. Show me the woodsman. That's funny. <laughs> oh. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Oh, damn it. Uh, let's show... I don't know her name. But... Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do... I can't help you. Dang it. Okay, show me Snow, show me Snow White. White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. <laughs> show me the woodsman. Okay. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Alright. Oh. There's Baskin. Oh. Poor monkey. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. I thought Snow was the mayor, but I was like, oh, never mind. So, little dang it. Fable, fable. We should go back and help him to find that. <gasps> Genie! Genie! <laughs> oh my god. This brings such a lot of fairy tales into this game. I am okay. I am so. I am. I think I like this game so far. Let's look at the fa the book of fables. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Okay. There's 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 the beast and um. Wait wait a minute. I'm looking. There's there's me. There's snow. Uh, that's funny. Wait, where's uh, where's Dopey? Dopey. I don't see Dopey. I think that's one him. But he looks really angry. There's the woodsman. I'm thinking it's a little riding hood. Let's go over here. Oh, there's um, there's um, Colton. I think. Uh, I don't know who's that one. I don't remember. Oh, I remember that. What was it called? What was that movie called? I don't remember. But I, I remember I remember that the uh, remember this. Uh I don't I don't remember but it's in my head I don't remember, dang it. There's Toad and um Guy. I'm starting to think she is Little Miss Riding Hood. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Here's Beauty Beauty and Happier Days. Gaston? And her man, Beast. Oh, that Honey. was Beast. Oh, that's Beast? Oh, I thought that was Gaston. For a minute, I thought it was Colton. Colin. Oh, Colin, brothers. not Colton, sorry, my bad. I'm kind of mixing names here. I've <gasps> seen this before. 
What was that? The symbol on the man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Okay. Let's look at it again. So she can't be in here. But the kingdom. Yeah, she can't be in here, so we're gonna have to look in this book, this book of symbols. Let's look at the book of symbols. Let's see if we can find anything. All petulance. Something about a mystical tree. I say group. Um. Oh, Cinderella. Here it is. Okay, something, something. I can't read that well. But I'm thinking it's a um. I don't remember. Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> we look out for each other. He's a cute. Don't overdo it. He's this is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. German? Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as... <laughs> Askin <laughs> ah, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, <laughs> we don't need the commentary. <laughs> the story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After, After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. <gasps> She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Wow. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. Please. It'd be very good. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. But I'm we got what we came for. Yeah. yeah. Her name's Faith. She was yeah. married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's Didn't more than her name was Faith. What was her father's name? Yeah. Wait, if Lawrence was not with her you and then that's Faith, husband. so then her father must have killed her. You think he did it? This sort of thing, it's usually the person who knew them best. Or it's someone completely random. Well, it's go it feels like it's going towards her father much better because her father didn't want want to marry her because nothing like her, like like the story said. Her father was trying to, her, um, her mother told him to marry the woman that is her, from her true breed and that would be her, her, um, her daughter. So I would say her father killed her, I think. Because if, Nobody can have his um, have her. No, if so, nobody can have her. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? <laughs> let's uh, let's look at Faith's father. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Oh, he's dead. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Uh, yeah, it does. So, uh, sh Faith. Show me. Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. Wait. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. So, faith is out of the question. So, she's not here, so we know I'm seeing that. Prince Lawrence. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? 
Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. All right. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, Wait, so then we're going Prince over there. Lawrence must have killed his, his own wife? Wait, what? Sorry, I have to get that. Wait, okay. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Uh, who is that? Bigby, it's me, Tom. You there? Uh. What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! Uh-oh. What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. Totally I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. No, we should go to... Whenever you're ready. We should go to Toad's. Toad sounds like he's in, da in danger, so... I think we should go to Toad's first. More than just go to Faith, Faith's um, apartment. I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Wait a minute, well, there's blood right maybe there. Maybe Prince that up. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Well, where to first? Let's go to Toad's. We should go to Toad's. Baby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Baby. It's me. We should go to Toad's heart and see what's going Toad on. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Yeah, Prince Lawrence is really okay. kind of, um... Okay. I'm not looking forward of... to breaking the news to him anyway. Oh, God. Prince Lawrence will have to wait because Prince... Because, um, Toad is really, you know, really in danger right now, so... There's, a, like, a... There's a chance we can save him and a chance he's gonna die. 50% chance. Okay, 10%. I would say. Oh. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. <laughs> you guys made a real mess. Yeah, looks worse in the day. Oh damn! Look at the look at the wall. Dang. Huh? Is somebody up there? Hmm. Hmm. Wait. Here. Go. Someone was up here. Wait a minute, the beds are back again, so Shit. I remember that he um he's um he's out there, but not that out there. Mm. That's enough, all right? Just shut it! <laughs> I'm starting to think that's Toad. I remember- I don't remember Toad's voice. Yes. That is sudden. Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? Okay. No promises, though. Hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. No. What happened? Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, 
I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. It wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally <laughs> to the dogs, eh? Aww. Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I think he's saying something. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. And just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Ugh. I think he's hiding Whew. something. Grown-ups. Am I right? Yeah. Uh. Mm. Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. <laughs> Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? Said he stubbed his toe. worried about something. You bleeding? Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I'll cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. I think he's hiding something. Yep, he's hiding something. Okay, I'm sorry guys, but I'm gonna have to end this here. And I know it's really like a big, very kind of like a big, oh no, like this kind of point. Like a really big, um, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I think he's hiding something. So in the next episode, we're gonna find out what's going on. And I know. <laughs>